Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I took a poll this week on Instagram and I chose four looks that I've seen on my explore page or just seen scrolling down my Instagram. I asked you guys to choose which look you wanted me to do and a lot of y'all basically said all of them so I will be doing all of them but it's really not in any specific order just what I decided to film on this particular day and it was this look. So I hope you guys like it, you know, make sure you follow my Instagram at AuthenticAU.Authentic. Um, follow my beauty page, Authentic Lifestyle, AU.AuthenticLifestyle. Um, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell so you will always be updated on my videos. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. First, I'll be starting with some concealer. And I just put that on my eyes as an eyeshadow base so that I can have a really even plane to start my eyeshadow. I'm going to take that first shade and just buff it into my crease, blend it out, and that's going to be the starting base for all of this shadow that I'll be using today. Then I'm going to go over top of that just a little bit more into my crease, the brown shade, and start transitioning those colors. I'll go back and forth between both of those colors so that I can blend them and it'll look very, very even and smooth. I'm going to go in with an even darker brown shade out of that same Milani palette and just deepen my crease so that when I cut my crease, all these colors will just fade into each other seamlessly. This is the last shade that I'll be using before I cut my crease and it's just to get that really nice black right at the top of where my cut crease is going to start and then in the inner not inner, in the outer corner of my eyes. Taking that same concealer that I used to base my eyes and I'm just cutting my crease. In the reference photo I used, she just had a white base on the inner corner of her eyes. It didn't look like she actually used any type of real shadow, so I basically did the same thing before adding shimmer shades on the outer corners of my eyes closer to where that black shade is going to be. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, feel the chemistry. Won't let no one come and take your place. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that black and just put it on the outer corners because I lost somewhat of the color when I added those other eyeshadows and the highlighter. And this is Kiss Glitter. Um, I actually took the lid off before I filmed it, but. It's Kiss Glitter. You can find it at your hair store or order it online if there's not a local hair store close to you. And I told you guys that I don't like using actual glitter glue or not that I don't like using it, but I would just rather use some glue that I actually have and probably don't use anymore. And I decided to use eyelash glue and it works the same way. Like I was just filming this and it, it actually lasts long too just like your eyelashes would if they should be able to last all day so your glitter should be able to last all day if you use eyelash glue i primed my face with Gigi hadid's tinted primer 
and I used a different foundation today. It's It kind of is a little bit too light for me, but because I was just filming this look, it ended up working out. I'll be doing an updated foundation routine video um, because I don't really stray too far from what I normally use. I used a couple different concealers in this video, but most of the time I use the same product and I apply them almost the same way. Sometimes I might use a beauty blender, other times I might use just brushes, but there isn't really too much that I've changed about my foundation routine, so I'm not going to talk through the entire thing. Make sure that when you're blending out your contour, you blend it upwards into your concealer, into your highlighter, just so that everything blends out seamlessly and you don't have too many harsh lines. You don't really want any harsh lines at all. In the video, it looks like I was baking. It looks like I sat there for a while before um, probably wiping my powder away, but I just applied the powder and let it sit probably for like a minute, and then I wiped it away with some soft focus from Black Radiance. And that just, if I have any um, white cast, it just takes it away and it makes everything even and smooth so I love using that soft focus finishing powder For my under eye, I used the orange shade from the NYX palette and the light brown shade from the Milani palette. And I put those underneath my eyes so that I can smoke out the bottom and it will just blend better with the rest of my eyeshadow. And the bottom of my eyes won't look naked. I added two different types of blush, one of them from an, the NYX dropout booklet that I have in this video and the other one came from a black radiance contour palette. 
just add some lipstick and some lip liner and then I am finished. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you subscribe, leave comments, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff. Thanks guys.